Some of you may still be looking for a Halloween costume, but what about for your pets? Right, so pet owners love to get their furry friends in on the spooky fun and keep their pets, of course, safe doing so next weekend, too. So here to give us some tips, some advice is Charles Manter, along with Roxy. So Charles is with Pet Supplies. Nice to have you both here with us. Nice to be here. Yeah, so why don't you just go ahead and start off? Obviously, pets owners just love to be able to do this to get those costumes and I see Roxy here is already dressed up so how do you find the right yep. costume for your pet? Well first and foremost you're going to want to make sure that uh, they stay simple. Uh, we don't want any choking hazards like on the collar or uh, other costume parts. Uh, next you're going to want to introduce them to it early. Uh, make sure that they're going to be comfortable you know sitting in it for a while um, or walking around the neighborhood. Uh, so you know give it to them a week or two before. Um, Going to want to make sure that you watch their body language, uh, that they're not stressed out. Um, make sure that they don't have any, you know, anxiety around, you know, how it fits. Also, that it's not inhibiting any of their movement. Um, you know, every dog's shape is uh, a little different, and they need to have that freedom to move around. Yeah. So the the recommendation here is to to get them used to it early, so they're not like you know going nuts with in it <laughs> on the day of. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, keep with the, um, you know, the, sim the, the simple attachments, uh, your Velcros, um, like in our little dinosaur costume here, um, or the, uh, you know, basic hoods, the less pieces that, you know, detach that they could chew on, um, the better. Uh, she likes this koala here, too. <laughs> That's adorable. Um, but yeah, to make sure they come off on and off real easy for them. All right, so that is one way to obviously help your pet adjust to the costume. Um, so what if you do everything right and your pet is just still really anxious? You know, my niece is doing this right now. She sent me a picture of her and her cat, and I'm like, poor little cat looks miserable. <laughs> the cat looked miserable. So, like, I, you're saying just get them started earlier. Is there anything else or any other hints you might have? Well, yeah, we, don't, we really don't want to force anything. Um, if you've tried, you know, all the methods that, that we're staying to get them comfortable, um, then maybe it's, you know, just best to forget uh, about the costume this year. There's always, uh, you know, other choices. We have, you know, Halloween treats, Halloween toys, uh, you know, maybe a spooky bandana or just a bow tie that can attach to their collar. Um, you know, the, the, there are other options out there than the full costume. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going bandana this year for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, Roxy. Thank Roxy you. is so well behaved. Roxy there is too. a good, yeah, Roxy's a good girl. Yeah. Look at that. Well done. Well done. You Thank you treat. so much. <laughs> hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.